Whoa, I don't know if you can get any of this, but this is us just heading into the night. Uh, sea state is actually reasonable. The wind has come up somewhat and uh, it's getting dark and it's going to be a long night. We headed out uh, into the gloom, uh, it was pretty misty, uh, the mist uh, hung around for a long while, the seas got a bit rougher, the, uh, the wind came up, uh, but the, the sailing conditions weren't so bad, so we just kind of cracked on a bit. We did okay until we uh, ran out of navigation points on the coast. And at that point it became exceptionally difficult to navigate properly because all we could do really was look at the wildly gyrating compass uh, and the windometer um, and try and uh, sail by the wind which wasn't easy at one o'clock this morning in probably um, maybe 30 knots of wind uh, and you know gathering seas so um, I went off watch at uh, half past one and the other guys came along did a reasonable job overnight, uh, got to Cape Clear by dawn, they handed back to us and we just cracked on with one massive tack over to Mizzen Head. It was uh, reasonably uncomfortable um, and then uh, went around Mizzen Head and uh, bore away and it was beautiful sailing from then on. The sun came out and uh, we were very very glad to get in here though. Um, so then we came on shore and uh, the pair of us, myself and uh, Stuart Aikman, uh, started up Hungry Hill. The wind was horrendous. It was bad last year, but actually it was worse this year. I reckon we had at least 40 knots uh, on the ascent and uh, at various points all the way around the, the Hungry Hill horseshoe. Um, it, it was relatively dry, but up on Hungry Hill, there was basically no visibility. Um, and then we had to do some compass work, which is quite nice. Um, and then we came down out of the clouds, got rained on, a uh, lot of wind. Uh, the problem was that Stuart turned his ankle three times, so he was hobbling for a lot of it, actually for three quarters of it. And uh, so that slowed us down a little bit, but um, he, he could have bailed out, but he didn't. And uh, like I say, kudos to him and fair play. And we've just uh, cracked on and done it in seven hours. So. That's not very, very different from what, what the two teams did it in last year. So, uh, very, very pleased with that. And we're just trying to work out what we're going to do now. I do know that the dinghy has detached from the back of the boat. And so myself and Stuart have got to traipse around the, the foreshore and collect it and then row ourselves back to the uh, waiting boat. So, fun and games on the Isomac.